If you'd told me in junior high that I would be wearing makeup for a living, I would have punched you. So we're on our way to work. I'm gonna show you how I go from being Anson to being Cohen. It's about 9.15 in the morning. Max already asleep. I actually show up about an hour and a half before the crew shows up because I gotta do costume, hair, makeup. You're gonna make me look like a wussy not carrying my own umbrella here. Thank you very much. So this is my trailer. Turn the lights. Turn on the radio for Mac. How's that, Mac? This is all of the pages we're shooting today. Colin dies. Oh my God. No. Sharon Tui, our illustrious makeup artist. This is Quentin, my stunt double. He grows an even thicker beard than I do. Makes me feel like a girly man. Sharon likes to redden my knuckles to make it look like I've been working. My friends back in Tennessee don't need this. <laughs> now, now it starts to, to happen. When you look into the mirror sort of partway through makeup and you start to believe what you're seeing, there's something that happens that grounds you in the character. Called out of makeup and hair to go do a rehearsal. Okay guys, so safety meeting. It takes a while to pop off the first shot. We're jackknifed that way. Yeah. And the wheels are in danger of this one, these ones, so, okay. I always like to listen to NXS when I get naked. The most important part of any costume is the shoes. Now that you've seen how I get into the costume, get into the character, you can come and do it for real in person. Just go to omaze.com slash hell on wheels. That's O-M-A-Z-E dot com slash hell on wheels to enter for your chance to win a visit to Alberta and see us here on set or just hit the button on your computer. Okay everyone, places. How's he doing? Yeah, he just came out now. He's been in there warming in his bed. Yeah. <laughs>